Hello guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I will share with you my favorite Mac applications that I use. These applications are really something that will speed up your workflow and productivity and not just something that will sit on your Mac and just fill up your disk space. I will not divide them into categories, I will simply present to you what I use daily while I am working. I don't want to waste your time, so let's get started. So the first application for today will be Portal, which is my favorite productivity application. It's a focus application that helps you when you need to do a deep focus work. Whenever I want to focus on a certain task, I usually use this application. It has a different calming surroundings coupled with music, which helps you concentrate on a certain task. When you open the application, you can choose one of the surroundings and then click Set Surroundings. As you can see, it turns on a special audio supported sound and also changes the background of the desktop as well. It's such a simple application that helps you focus on a certain task so you can finish the task faster. So next on the list is Trello, an application that is great for organizing projects, especially if you work in a team. This application allows me to write down all the important things for me and my colleagues, share links, documents and so on. This is done by creating cards. So, for example, let's say that three people are working in a team, John, Michael and Peter. Each of them has a task to complete and each of them has its own folder with cards. Once the task is done, just drag and drop the card into done and that's it. That's how Trevor works and it's a great productivity application. So, next on the list is the Hague Converter. So, this application is only useful if you're using an iPhone. As you know, the iPhone image format is not JPEG but it's Hague. HAKE hey is a great file format for saving storage space but not so great when it comes to using your photos because it's not as compatible as JPEG. So when I want to edit a photo that I took with my iPhone, I usually airdrop it to my Mac and then I just upload it to the HAKE converter and then I click convert and as simple as that I have my image in JPEG. Next on the list we have XMIP. This is the default screenshot app but on steroids. What you can do with it is really special. You can snap into certain windows, take screenshots of whatever you want, and you can go ahead and draw around it. Yes, you can do the same with the default screenshot app, but more. You can adjust the colors, you can add arrows, you can add numbers if you need to, you can add text and so on. It's just better than the default screenshot app. So the next one is something that I'm not using every day, but every minute, and it's Grammarly. Grammarly is an AI-powered writing tool that helps you write clear, error-free materials for a wide range of platforms. It provides recommendations for better style and tone as well as real-time grammar, punctuation and spelling checks on content. Grammarly is a great productivity tool because it saves me a lot of time when I'm writing scripts, emails, etc. But not just that, Grammarly is a great tool to have if you're trying to improve your writing abilities. It offers both free and premium membership options. So it sits here in the menu bar and it's on by default. If you want to change the language or writing style, you can do so in the settings window. You can also change the shortcut for turning Grammarly on and off. Overall, Grammarly is a great application that I can't live without. The next application is Hand Mirror. So this application sits in your menu bar and functions like a mirror so you can check your webcam. This is a really useful application if you work a lot with video calls throughout the day. It's a much easier way to check that everything is alright and in frame before you jump into a video call, rather than having to mess around with the settings of the application that you will use next. It's quick and easy and it's a great tool to have. Next up we have Panda. If you're a person who works at the office, this is the right application for you. If you mostly work at your desk, you should take breaks. Also, breaks are important if you want to keep your focus. So this application will make you take breaks so you don't just sit there for a long time. So Pandan is a silent app that sits in your menu bar and tells you how long have you been sitting at your desk. When you're doing a deep work, you have no orientation of time, so this application sitting in your menu bar will always be there to remind you to take a break. So next up we have to do is. Before I started using this application, I used to write the things that I wanted to do on a piece of paper. 
So to do this is a task management application that helps you organize your tasks efficiently. It offers features like easy task creation, project organization, reminders and integration with other applications if you have the Pro version. But even without the Pro version, it's a great tool to have. Yes, there are a lot of similar applications that you can use, but the simplicity and the easy to use platform is what I like the most. With Todoist, you can stay on top of your task, whether for work or personal projects, and just boost your productivity process. Next on the list is Pure Paste. You know how annoying it is to copy a text from somewhere and then when you paste it, its formatting gets all messed up. That's where Pure Paste comes in handy. It's always in the background and automatically clears the formatting, making everything easy to copy and paste automatically without worrying about clearing the formatting. And if you ever want to paste something with the formatting, just click the option key before your usual copy and paste and you'll paste it with the formatting. That's how easy it is to use it. The last application is AppCleaner. So AppCleaner helps you uninstall applications and any leftover files that comes with it. It scans for associated files, lets you review them and then completely removes them. It ensures complete removal, freeing up disk space and keeping your system clean. And it's also really easy to use. Instead of dragging the application to the bin, you drag and drop the application to the app cleaner and it gives you all the associated files and you can do whatever you want with them. And that's it. These were the 11 Mac applications that I use every day. Of course, I wanted to say that everyone has their different choice and taste, and this does not mean that these applications will be useful for everyone. Of course, they're worth trying, but they'll not do the same job for everyone. Just keep it simple, don't use 200 plus applications that will only make the process more difficult, just use something simple that will only speed up your process. All these applications mentioned in the video will be in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this one. Until then, peace.